Assalamualaikum. Selamat pagi. Eh, selamat pagi pula. Salam sejahtera ya, yeah. ucapkan kepada uh, Mas. Uh, thanks for coming on show. Uh, today we're going to talk about books ya, yeah? buku-buku and hmm? the banning of books. What how can a book be banned? In Malaysia, if someone's not happy with a book and refer it to the Home Ministry, then um, there'll be a, a committee, a jabatan within the Home Ministry that will look at the book, vet it, uh, and you know, read it and and come up with a gazette to say that it's been banned. And mm. they don't have to provide any examples except uh, any reasons for it, except to say that it is again it will cause uh, you know public disorder. Do you know some of the can 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 you rattle off some some curious titles for books that have been banned? Do any come to mind? Uh, the first that will come to mind, of course, would be Muslim Women Challenge Islamic Extremism. But another title that we've um, gone through as well and looked uh, on the internet, and you can find this at the Home Ministry website, um, is Perempuan Makan Pisang. <laughs> so it, it goes the whole range, you know. So it's yeah. academic as well as, um, I don't know what Perempuan Makan Pisang is. You tell me. <laughs> so Mamasa, is it? Yes. I have no idea. Okay. The book is. I'm not supposed to know about it, and I'm not supposed to read it. But you can. We can see the list, and we can see. Yes. What year it was banned, and yes. who published it? Ah uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. But we cannot read it. I guess you can, unless you get hold of it before. I see. And I think I suspect that a lot of people will have a lot of books that have been banned. They just don't know it. I mean, right. how would you know that a book has been banned unless you happen to read that particular paper right. on the day it's been banned mm. and the Home Ministry informs, you know, the all the media outlets and all that. Or you go to the website and it's quite fun just going to the website. So I would recommend that if people have nothing better to do. Since we don't really know the mechanism, kan, macam mana dia orang keluar and, and, mm. and ambil, yeah? because mm. there's so many points of entry, macam yeah. buku-buku yang bawa masuk, they may be stopped at customs. Yes. Right? Yeah. And books in bookstores might yes. be might be taken. And it has happened recently. Two of Malaysia Kini's books uh, were taken away from the bookshops. And uh, these are books that have been in circulation for a while. Uh, and you know, sometimes they take books. You would imagine that the government would be taking one copy in order to read whatever, right? But they will take like Five copies, ten copies. So, sometimes more. Yeah, sometimes more, and they don't. All they have to do is account for the books. They will give you a letter to say that you know we've taken. My name is. I've taken these books um, to see if it you know if it contravenes section seven one of the Printing Presses and Publications Act. Mm. Tapi tak ada dalam tu mengatakan bahawa kita kena pulang or whatever. And if you look at the law itself, the onus is on the bookstore owner. To write to the minister to say, uh, sekiranya tidak ada apa-apa yang you know yeah. uh, meragukan, ke, menimbulkan kegelisahan awam, mm-hmm. you know all these things, then tolong pulangkan buku ini. So the onus is on you to demand the book back. So actually, almost anyone can rattle off like say, oh you know, book title X is I think it it is a threat, and so they would take it away. So if if I were to say like a certain Book. Yeah, you know. Are you, are you going to name a title? No, I'm not going to. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't as imagine that. like buku sejarah sejarah Malaysia yeah. untuk tingkatan lima. <laughs> yeah, yeah, buku sejarah untuk tingkatan lima. Uh, KBSM. Yes. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mempromosi idea-idea Mengge- Chingpeng. Yeah, yeah. Menggarakan iman dan uh, meruntuhkan ahlak. So dan, they would have to yeah. recall. I mean, like take a whole bunch. They, into. Uh, I guess, like I guess, you would need to strike a chord in the people who okay. are. In you know the gatekeepers lah. Yeah, let's let's talk a bit about. Um, <laughs> they don't have to explain. They don't have to explain to the general public why yeah. they are doing this. Yeah. What do you think actually? This what kind of a message does it send? Uh, I don't know. For me, like it's quite clear. They don't want you to think, and I think that's like one of the traits of a totalitarian regime, that you you would be happy that there's so much crap out there in the bookshelves but you're taking away certain titles that are good and that make people think of course you're also taking away some of the crap as well but I think the larger issue is that you know it, it takes away intellectual freedom you can't even think what, what about the, you know being challenged by certain ideas and mm. thoughts and, mm. and uh, you know if we are trying to be like a a society that encourages people to read mm. what message and are to we, think yes and what message are we trying to put across when we ban books when we ban serious books when we ban academic books mm. you know mm. included yeah. yeah so what how, is there a way out to, of this 
I don't know. I I think I think readers need to be subversive. You know, we need to buy books that are banned. We need to read books that are banned. Um, we will and basically maybe we even do it without knowing, mm. right? Because mm. there are books in our shelves. Yeah. That for are, example, um, you know, I was studying abroad, and yes. and while I was abroad, mm. uh, I picked up a book or you know like Karen Armstrong's History of God. Yeah, the government invited her, yet they banned her book. And then they, they, they. I remember, like they mentioned all the other books except that book, in her, ah, in her in biography. Her biography, I think. Yeah lah, malu kamu ke? <laughs> <laughs> Menunjukkan kebodohan dan <laughs> <laughs> ketaksuban ke atas, you know, about kuasa. Uh-huh. But okay, let's. You you mentioned um 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 you know like uh, intellectual freedom. Mm. Yeah. A book like Sisters in the Slums, book which right now is uh, um you know the the. the The government is is appealing mm-hmm. the decision, yeah. um, which was actually in favour of of letting letting the book be published again, right, or yeah. be sold. Yeah. Uh, now, what actually is at stake with this uh, the the Sisters in Islam book? Uh, I guess with that, it's more um, intellectual freedom, because the book is actually written by academics. By researchers, by women's rights activists, from countries in the Middle East and countries in Southeast Asia, so it's actually the result of a meeting, uh, a conference that that brought together activists from ten countries. So they came up with the, um, you know, all the papers were actually collated and and made into a book, and that's what has been banned. Mm. I mean, and it actually talks about the administration of, of Islamic family law. Right. Um, so, uh, you know, because it's written from a particular angle, which is very academic and very research-based, the this particular book, for example, is more, uh, you know, it, it's about intellectual freedom and not so much about freedom of religion. Of course, mm. there are aspects mm. of freedom of religion in there, but the book is not about doctrine per se. Yeah. It's about... Family law, lah, and mm. it's not about makan pisang either, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, we'll wait and see how this all pans out, won't we? Why do you always think of makan pisang? Tak tahu lah, perempuan makan pisang. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Eh, you welcome. Terima kasih lah, yeah, banyak banyak. Right.